Hi, welcome back to Famished Foodie. My name is Mally, and to my right is C. Hi. C is still kind of recovering from our last taste test <clears throat> where we had Indian snacks and some were a little spicy. But guess no, what? No, it's more or less just I started choking on one of them. She did. So <clears throat> today, now we're still going to have some more Indian snacks and look at these. <laughs> okay, so there are two flavors. There is the chutney flavor and then there is the regular or classic flavor. Now see? Classic. Classic? Okay. I like the packaging by the way. It's yellow and red and blue. It looks inviting. Or it looks like, you know, like one of those um, poisonous things you see out in the wild, like some like rabid or like frogs or snakes are. Okay, so what she's referring to is these bright colors are oftentimes connected with things toxins. that are toxins in in the jungle. So this is what if you ever come like. across a very colorful frog, do not touch or lick. Okay, <laughs> that is what the tucka tucks look like. So it's kind of like orange and yellow. And let's try one. It's spicy. It's almost like it has this. It is. It's like mildly spicy. See, and I have two completely different taste buds. <laughs> mine just started to build up. What do you mean you spicy for you automatically? Mm. No, mine has to build up a little bit first. Mmm. So the spice. Mmm. These are lovely. It almost has this like lime, lime zinginess to it. And then it also has. I've never eaten a lime before. <laughs> oh, I have to start cooking stuff for it with lime for C, but. Um, Mmm. So the taste, the texture is almost like a combination between a cheesy, which, which is a yummy Canadian snack, and a cheese puff. But the actual taste itself, it's tangy, it's spicy. There's a there's a hint of sweetness. Sweet? What are you tasting? Mm -hmm. Really yummy. Are we tasting the same thing? It's just spice, pure spice. It's not just pure spice. There's beautiful different layers of spice profiles in them. And now we're going to try... Mom, I'm, I'm aware that you have more taste buds than the average person, but you don't need to say it's mildly spicy because we have people like Dad in the house who just taste like the bare minimum of things. True. So, all right. I will backtrack and say that it's not mildly spicy. It's in between blow your face off spicy and mild. So it's medium. Okay. So next we're going to try tuck a tuck Chutney. chutney chutney flavor and once again the bag is is beautiful colors and once again if you're out in nature in the jungle do not touch anything that's brightly colored it will um send it will send you to the clouds to put it lightly okay <laughs> let's not go there right now thank you so i'm going to put some on c's plate and by I'm some, put some like two things why do they look like cartoon characters they do kind of look like no i mean like in like the olden cartoons, some would be like short and like chubby, and the other would be like tall and lanky. That's what I'm referring to. That's right. So let's try. <coughs> There's a mild difference. The Indians like their their spice profile. Holy. Okay. How am I taking this better than you? <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, Hanku. Come on, come on. Do it for the content. <laughs> Do it for the content. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yummy. Mm. Do it for the content. I think I have to. Do it for the content. <laughs> Mm. Mm. These are oh okay. So <laughs> let me explain. This means ah, hot. <laughs> so there's spice on the edge of my tongue. 
And that's one one layer of <laughs> you spice. You look like you're about to cry. Oh, it's spicy. And then I'm not um, um, perspiring this time around. And then my whole mouth is, is coated with this beautiful spice coating. And then it tastes like you're having something nice and spicy. And then this beautiful like green chutney kind of flavor. Beautiful. Well, I really enjoyed. If you can't handle your spice, don't eat this. Exactly. That's a really good warning. If you cannot handle your spice. So by North American standards, when something is spicy, that I think in the Indian context would be really mild. So this in North American standards, I would put it at a medium. Like I also like eating kimchi and it's not <clears> as spicy <throat> as a kimchi. Hi, I feel like ghost pepper over in India would just would be just spicy and not like <clears throat> well one time i saw this indian announcer a female and she was with her colleagues on on tv and they were gonna do the packy really spicy one chip challenge and i think f four people in total did it and this lady who's of indian background was eating and eating it like it was nothing but all of her co-workers <laughs> were just like <laughs> They were like going off camera. It was so, <laughs> they were in so much pain, but okay. Bring it back to today. Tech attacks are not that spicy. And they, and the North tell American- that to, Tell that to the average American. We're not even American. <laughs> no, we're Canadian. And if you can handle your spice, then I think you will enjoy these. If spice is new to you, what I'd recommend is start mild like Doritos or something. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> get these, have one, and then also have a glass of milk beside you. Well, or anything just cold, refreshing beverage in general. Uh, thank you. Like apple juice, orange juice, cold water. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Hot yeah. chocolate, but left out in the open for like 20 minutes. Alrighty. So <laughs> on that note, thank you so much for joining in, in the Tech Attack um challenge we liked it well i think that i liked it more than c because the space in there not the space the spice the space the, we're, the, we're, in, we're in outer space the uh, spice level is different layers and thank you so much for tuning in and please hit the subscribe button the bell notification and until next time be well take care and on my personal note have a very spicy day have a very spicy day Bye!